Hey y'all. Um, so your setup is best as I possibly can get. And the lighting is really bad. So sorry. And you guys are crooked. Huh? It's dark out, so the lighting's bad. Um, and it's really hot up here. So I have a fan going over here. Um, so if there's noise, I'm sorry, but this is the best I can do right now. It's so hot. And yeah. So this is all I pretty much can do right now. Um, but yeah, you guys are set up. I'm going to readjust you when I go to actually get the product out. But today we are testing the Gummy Candy Maker. And I've seen this done a million times. And I was at Farm It Fleet. And this is only $24, I believe. I'm like, Dad, can we please get... I only have two flavors due to the fact of Jello is expensive. Um... And I don't want to like have to waste a bunch of jello to do 10 million to one, so I'm hoping two flavors will do. So it's supposed to come with everything but a gelatin. I'm hoping. Yeah. I also know you have to freeze them for a bit. And so yeah, this is gonna be a two-part video. Well, a two-part video edited into one video. There, you know what I mean. Also, you like my shirt. It says, don't touch me, because it's a cactus. So yeah, let me reset you guys, and we'll get into this. Hey guys, so I'm not trusting this too well. My tripod just broke. So, uh, yeah, and I just realized my head's cut off. Lovely. So yeah, let's fix this real quick. Okay, this is not working very well. It's very broke and very much not working. That is the best I can do, and you're so crooked, guys. I'm so sorry. Legitly, no matter how I put you all, it's just crooked and... Ugh, hold on. Alright, that is the best I can do. My head is slightly chopped off, but... I think it's gonna work to raise it up any. Hold on, I'm really struggling. There we go, guys. Uh, I really hate it. It's just, oh, you're so crooked. I just don't wanna break it anymore. Let's just get into this video. Um, so, I have a knife, cause I know I'm probably gonna need it. Not for my safety, I'm gonna keep the guard on. So, let's get into this box. So we have instructions, the melting pot, all of the molds and their trays, and the box. So that's pretty much generally about it. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble this and I'll be right back. Alright y'all, so the tripod was not working at all. So now we have readjusted slightly. There we go. And so yeah, this does not sit flat. This is the first problem. Uh, it's like, I'm just struggling tonight. And this is the piece that broke off my tripod. So looks like I'm ordering a new one. Luckily it's only like $12. And now we're just going to take these molds, and you really can't see anything. And they just go around, they clip together like so, and go around the pot. Alright, hold on guys. There we go, a side view. I'm trying to get in front of that light, there we go. A side view will do. You guys don't need to see me. It's okay. So I wanted to show it from above, but you know, tripod problems. So basically, we have fishies, bears, bears, and worms. And these just snap together. There we go. Voila. 
I'm struggling. I don't know if it's the heat or what. It's just struggle. So, I'll show you. This is the current situation. This is a really cute pot, but that's the best top angle you're going to get. I, it's hard to remember times now without a tripod. And here's our little mixing pot. I just noticed it does not come with a mixing spoon. Like, come on. I have one thing I need. It's a mixing spoon. So I'm going to go ahead and read the instructions and then I'll be back and fan myself on that. So I'm already messing out. What we need is the small jello. So I have this cotton candy flavored jello and um i have the six ounces you need three ounces and i'm confused with the gelatin because it says four packets of unflavored gelatin one ounce is that one ounce each or one ounce together because each pack is one ounce i think it's four packets so we can only make two batches then because i have only two boxes and there's four in each box but with this, if you get the big boxes of Jello, you have to split this in half, and also you can then make four batches. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the Jello and the gelatin. You, you need unflavored gelatin and then flavored Jello into the pot, and then add the half cup water and stir it, and I'll be back. All right, guys. So right now. It kind of looks like applesauce, like cotton candy blue flavored applesauce. It smells delicious. And I don't know if this one's going to turn out because I was too lazy to go get a measuring cup, which I ended up having to do in the end. So I just used this cup to measure. So I don't know. And I don't know what if I did any of this right. So. Yep, definitely heating. I was just make sure I had power. So it is heating right now. And then we will put them in our little molds. So yeah, I'll be back then. Hey y'all, so the heat is on. It's starting to melt more and more. Can't really see it. It's not very hot, which I get is probably like a child safety factor. Very sticky. Um, but yeah, it's just not very hot so it's taking forever to melt uh check back in about 30 years hey y'all so i would give you an overlook but it's all very sticky and messy but basically every single one is filled and i only did a couple blues because the mixture it just was not right and so i dumped it out and then I did the orange, and the orange turned out way better. So now I'm going to go put them in the freezer, and we'll find out what happens in a couple of hours. See you guys then. Bye. So we have relocated to my bedroom, and the gummies are finished. This is how they all turned out. Um, me and my dad have been eating them. They come out really easily. They're really, really sticky. Uh, they're a bit thick and weird. But overall, it worked, and they are good. Now, I'll take a little worm out for you. I haven't actually ate one of the worms yet. Here's a blue one. I didn't see it. didn't fully get in there. They're weird. The blue ones are as good as the um, orange ones. I don't know if it's the flavor of the jello or what. They... I don't know, they don't really taste like cotton candy. Um, here's a mixed one. It is blue on the bottom, orange on the top. So yeah, um, they're, the blue ones are really squishy. You can squish them, they're like little squishies. It's weird. And the orange, I have to get one out. I haven't actually done one of the fish yet. Ooh, you, the fish are really detailed, oh my. And the orange is a bit more hard, so they are good. 
But they have that weird gelatin taste, you know? Let's see, they're really hard. <laughs> they're so hard. That's the only problem with them is they're really hard. I want that, like, gummy, gummy taste, you know? But overall, I really liked it. All the ears and the legs stayed on very well. And the little bears are so cute. And they're all super sticky and kind of squishy, so... I really actually liked this. I would do it again. I feel like if I had a bunch of friends over and, like, was going to have a party, I'd totally do this. But for just me and my father to eat all these... I have the hiccups now. To eat all these, it would take forever. Because there's just so much sugar and gelatin. And these two fishes came out together. Alright, um... Mmm, the cotton candy, you can smell it, though. It smells so good. Oh my, they're completely stuck together. Alright, there we go. But yeah, so overall, I liked this, and I would do it again. And try different flavors, and try different ways of doing things. So yeah, except for a couple of limbs that didn't get fully filled. Mainly the top arms of the gummy bears. Um, everything went very sm well, although this is one of the messiest videos I've done so far. Even messier than the Eater Aware Challenge, which was really messy. Go watch that with me and Emily. But yeah, it was fairly good, though. I enjoyed it. It was fun, except for when it was frustrating, but it wasn't half bad. So I'll see you all in my... I'm obsessed with just pulling these out. Just trying to get them out and, like, pulling them out is an obsession. It's so fun. And especially the worms. It's just, like, satisfying. <laughs> Oof. It's a perfect little worm. Mm. Rubbery. Um, so, yeah. They're pretty good. So, I will see you guys in my next video totally would recommend this gets a thumbs up my thumbs up is weird apparently i've been told so i don't know you tell me is my thumbs up weird um so yeah like this video and subscribe to my channel sorry i haven't been posting very much lately i just like a two weeks ago got done with the musical i was in Suzical. so if you guys didn't know anything about that go check out my instagram I posted it down there. Um, and so yeah, that's about it. Uh, I've been done with that. So I just now starting to get back into YouTube. I have finals coming up soon. So just like bam, bam, bam things after one, one thing after another, after another, after another. So once finals is done, it's summer, which is at the end of May. And so I have a couple things to do for school still with, uh, band but after that i will be free to make youtube videos so i'm hoping for some really fun summer youtube videos so i will see you all in my next video and i'm seriously been just pulling out gummy bears the whole time it's so freaking satisfying look at their little face um <laughs> it's they're so hard all right i love y'all Remember to like and subscribe. Bye.